morning everyone welcome back to the channel i'm back here at sioka chevrolet at princeton today before the rains open up on us we're going to try to get this one in this is an all new 2023 chevrolet bolt ev the original shape bolt is what we got today we've already done the euv let's see what the ev with the 2lt trim is all about so let's dig in all right, as the rain starts to sprinkle, what do we have on the front end of this bolt? We have all LED lighting all the way up front. Nice gray paint with the Chevy blacked out bow tie. Looking good on the front. We do have some functionality in the grill because we do have to get air going in there to keep these lithium ion batteries cooled down. All right, wheel and tire setup on this bolt. We have this gloss black with silver accent rim, 17 inches, standard brake and rotors. Tire size, 215 on the width, 50 series sidewall, 17s, all four corners. Full side profile on this Bolt EV. As you can see, this is the original shape with those hard body lines. Top and bottom looking good. That silver trim around the windows followed by black underneath. So overall, it looks pretty sharp for a small car. As we move in, we have our charge port right here. We'll go over this in a little bit. Gloss black on the side view mirrors color matched on the front and rear door handle. The official color for this is gray ghost metallic. As we come up to the hood, or excuse me, the roof, we have that color match shark fin antenna. And across the top, we don't have a sunroof here in this 2LT pack. Back end of this 23 bolt EV, we have a small uh, roof spoiler coming off, the windshield wiper on the rear glass down below, all LED lighting in the back, which is nice. That black Chevy bow tie in the middle, and the Bolt EV badge with some blue accents, which I think makes it look really cool. The blue of obviously meaning electric on the left side. So a nice look here in the back of this little Bolt. Okay, here's the front motors here in the Bolt. 200 horsepower, 266 pound-feet of torque. MPGEs, 131 in the city, 109 on the highway, 120 combined. As we come around the side of the car, here is our charger port right here you open that up here's our level two charger where you can get a full charge 259 miles of total range on a full charge full charging on at a home level two charger is going to be about seven hours dc fast charger capable capability right here where you're going to get about 100 miles of range in 30 minutes all right we're inside this little bolt ev for 2023 and before we get started with the interior you're going to want to know mike how much does this cost well this is cheaper than the euv so the 2lt trim just the higher level trim in this bolt ev you're talking about an msrp of thirty one thousand three hundred ninety dollars so let's see what the interior looks like all right foot box action nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator all weather mats right there power seats for the front uh for the driver manual uh seats for the front passenger nice black uh interior color with bl light blue cross stitch which is a nice contrast nice and comfortable nice bolstering nice look all right door panel action a little monochromatic but not bad with the soft touch all up top flat black around the switch gear and along the chrome door handle some nice uh brushed aluminum uh panel there to kind of break it up a nice large large door pocket and of course this 2lt has the optional bose sound system to the dash soft touch up here with the cross stitch would have liked to seen maybe the light blue cross stitch that's on the seats moved in here to the dash instead of just the, the standard gray let me know what you think we have our nice heat and air vent over there down below we have a battery and this comes with the optional wheel locks which is nice we move on to our 10.2 inch infotainment system from General Motors. Again, we have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, Wi-Fi hotspot, driver profiles, the whole schmear, nav through your phone on this particular one, as well as taking a look at our rear parking camera, nice and clear. GM's rear, rear backup cameras are so nice. There's a the rear backup camera with trajectory. 360 degree cameras here on the left side with trajectory as well. And then you're able to shift into your different camera angles if you would like. So a really nice setup here in this infotainment system for this little bolt. Down below, we have our heat and air controls right here where we have three stage heated seats for the driver 
and front passenger over here and a heated steering wheel. Really nice. Here is our climate control controls in here. So very, very nice. Down below, we have a 12 volt SD card, USB-C, USB-A, wireless charging pad. Very nice. Here is the, the buttons to go through this one speed transmission. A nice little coin tray here. Electric parking brake. Two cup holders with some silver trim, which is nice. We have our key fob, unlock, lock, remote start, panic button, Chevy bow tie on the back. Nice looking. Armrest, a little bit hard, but not bad. And then if we open it up in the back here, we have a nice area for storage. All right, here is our bolt leather wrapped flat bottom steering wheel, which I think looks really nice. Again, I would have liked to seen the blue cross stitch in the steering wheel to match the seats rather than the gray. Let me know what you think about that. Overall, nice. We have flat black all on the switch gear to blacked out bow tie right there. Some tr silver trim down below on left cruise control right over. And then on the right telephone and voice commands, we do have a paddle right here, which is going to adjust the level of regen braking that you want. So if you want to drive it like a normal car with the uh, accelerator and brake pedal, you can do that. Or you can set for max regen and that's one pedal driving. So as soon as you take your foot off of the accelerator, then the car will stop on its own. So it's really up to you on how you want to do it. We have our uh, bright lights and turn signals on the left, as well as our front and rear wiper on the right stock. Over here, we can brighten or dim the dash or turn on the headlights or put it to auto, which is what we're going to do right now. And then as we get into this small dash, but it's all digital. And I really like this display on the Bolt. It's easy. It's simple. You can see all everything you need to on the screen with a quick glance, which I like right now. We have 234 miles of range, so almost a full charge in here. And... It just makes it so much easier. We can go through by just a flick of the switch on the right side. We can get our tire pressures. We can get our average speed. We can get our trip uh, information, our driver assistance, because we have full driver assistance, blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, highway lane, lane keep assist, all that good stuff. So it's a really nice uh, setup here in the Bolt with this digital dash and I really all right overhead console time we have non-led lighting inside this 2LT bolt here is our SOS button in case there's emergency here's the OnStar here is our visor right here sun visor vanity mirror very nice this pulls off and slides back to cover up that whole side window in case sun's coming in the side of the car. All right, so now we're in the back of this little bolt and I panned out so you can see more of me and how I fit back here. Five foot 11, plenty of headroom, plenty of shoulder width room. This seat is set for my driving position. I got plenty of leg room here, no problem. The door panels, the same design front to back, which I like in the in consistency of design. We do have hard black plastic though on top before we get to the switch gear that is all nice with a semi-soft armrest here. But overall, it isn't bad back here in this little bolt. All right, we got some connectivity in the back of this little bolt with a USB-C and a USB-A, so that's nice. We don't have any heat and air vents that I can see back here. Could be coming from the floor. We don't have a seat pocket behind the driver, but we have one behind the front passenger. And then we do have the same style seating as the front with the light blue cross stitch that goes around. So I like that consistency. And then we come to the center armrest, nice and soft armrest, two cup holders. So they got you covered in the back of this little bolt and it i mean it just looks really nice in here let me know what you think i even like this cross stitch coming around the back of the of the driver's headrest and in the passenger it just gives it a nice flare all right rear cargo space time and here we go we come to the back of this little bolt here is our backup camera right here and right next to it under the chevy bow tie is a little button you hit it it pops and then you got to lift up on your own, no electric assist on the rear tailgate. And then we have a nice deep area for storage back here, which I like. There's our charge cords and whatnot. Here are the carpeted floor mats if you don't want to use the all-weather ones, so that's nice. We also have this all-weather Bolt EV cargo mat in the back, which I think looks good. And we have this security shade 
which I like, but if you don't want that security shade on, all you gotta do is come up here and disconnect it. And then you, it's out of the way. Now it just folds down flat. You can, and get it, and you can get it out of the way, which is nice. To get the rear seats down, we have our little buttons right here. You just push the button on either side and down goes the, the seats. And now we'll put our security shade back up. Since I showed you that. And now we have a lot more space back here. Now it's not completely flat because the, the back is a little bit deeper, but it still gives you plenty of room if you need to fit in some larger, larger bags or, you know, or larger items. I think it gives you plenty of room. Plus you got some lighting in the back. I would like to see a 12 volt back here to give you a little bit of power back here in case you need it if you're you know, at the beach or out camping or something like that and you need something to plug in. So I would like to see a plug in back here. But other than that, for a small car, this looks pretty- All right, here's the window sticker on this 2023 Bolt EV 2LT in ghost, gray ghost metallic with jet black leather. Feel free to pause it, zoom in, see everything that is inside this little bolt. And now let's take it out for a spin. All right, so we are in this Chevy Bolt EV for 2023. Pulling out of the dealership, taking it for a spin down the road. And first thoughts, I really like the layout in here. I got to give Chevy a lot of credit for how this, lay <clears throat> how this layout looks. It's nice and easy to get to. Everything is easily understandable, right? I got huge amounts of visibility out the windshield and the side glass and the rear. So... It's easy to move around. It's a smaller car, so it's easy to, to uh, negotiate and move in and out of parking spaces. It's really got a smooth ride to it for such a small car. So, of course, the, the weight of the batteries helps that because they're down low in the car, which lowers the center of gravity and makes it ride a bit better, makes it handle a bit better. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are still killing me. Nice visibility out of the side view mirrors. I really like uh, the fact that it's got the heated seats and the heated steering wheel and the wireless charging. So I think that takes care of most things. At 31,000, I'm not gonna hit it for not having ventilated seats because the price point is awfully good for a fully electric vehicle. 259 miles is not a huge amount of range, especially for a front motor uh, electric car, but if you're looking for an electric car for local driving and just getting around town and maybe some shorter commute trips to work or to the store or wherever, uh, this is a pretty darn compelling offering in the segment at 31000 a little over 31000 Obviously, you have to add tax, title, and license in there, but... That's a really compelling price point for a fully electric car that has a nice ride, that has a nice handling to it. I can see why so many people like these bolts. Sioka Chevrolet of Princeton has, I think they told me, like 20 more bolts coming in, and they're all sold, except for like one. And then they have this one, which is the original EV shape. Looks like most people want to buy the EUV, which seems to be more popular than the original EV shape like this one. But you know what? If you don't need the little bit of extra room you're going to get in the EUV compared to this, I think this is a heck of a buy because the EUV Premier spec that we did uh, a few weeks ago, that was almost 37 Gs. And this one is a little over 31. So that is a huge price difference for specs 
interior specs that are not too far off from one another. This 2LT is a nice spec, especially with the leather seats and the blue cross stitch. You still get that same nice little digital dash, which is easy to read. I mean, I'm really impressed by this car, and I don't say that lightly when it comes to, to cars, but I'm really impressed with this little Bolt EV. Um, I really like it, and if I can get away from a lot of traffic here, we can do a stop and a, and a restart. So what I think I'm going to do here is uh, go down this road. I got an idea. <clears throat> A little wet, wet out today. I'm glad we got most of this exterior stuff done before it started raining too hard today. The ride is a bit firm, but it's not, you know, rough. Uh, it's not really soft, you know, but when you go over the bumps, it, you know, does a nice job in uh, in uh, damping that that out. So the suspension, I think, is set up really, really well in this uh in this little bolt ev little wheel slip because of the wet weather but it takes off nicely i mean it's not going to pin you back into the seat because we only have motors up front and you know, if you had dual motor action front and back, you'd, that's when you would get that rush of torque and pinion yourself back into the seat. We're not gonna see that here, but we do see a nice smooth acceleration up to speed, which I think is fine for what people wanna use this particular car for. So I'm really quite impressed when it comes to that. We're going to come around the corner here and, and uh, make a left, try to get out from underneath some of this traffic, and then we'll do a quick accel acceleration and an emergency stop to see how the brakes perform under stress. Even in this wet weather, I think it'll be a, a good test for that. turning ratio and there goes the spinnerooski <laughs> and here's these guys doing some surveying which I think is ridiculous in the rain but you gotta do what you gotta do I missed my turn that's why I had to do that Yui typical I know where the turn is going one way on the road but I don't know where the turn is going the other way on the road duh But now we are, we're out of the way with some of the traffic heading back in the other direction. And it's nice turn. Look at that. Nice and easy. Nice and planted. No problem. Now we're going to come back down here. Make a right turn. Now we'll get it up to speed. Really nice. You can hear that exterior noise for pedestrian safety. Now we'll try our emergency stop. Very good, very nice, nice and linear. The wheel isn't pulling to either direction. And now we're back on it and going down the road. Very, very nice. And we're gonna come into this left bend on the brakes, around the corner, a little body roll, but not bad. This is not a sports car. Now we're gonna over the bridge. We'll come back to the right a little bit and then off a little bit here. Now we'll try another emergency stop. Very, very nice. Take off. <laughs> Spin those wheels in the, on, the, on the greasy wet road. Oh God, that's funny. But anyway, that's our look at this, this Chevy Bolt EV. 
Uh, I want to thank Sioka Chevrolet at Princeton for allowing the channel access to this Bolt EV for review this morning, even though it's a bit rainy out. I also want to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone. <laughs> this thing is a, this is a hoot. <laughs>